in a previous video, I covered the hash rates for the Intel Arc A380 and A750. And since that time, we've had some improvements on kind of operating systems that we can use these cards on, as well as some minor improvements. And so today, I'm going to cover some updated hash rates. Now, all of these hash rates we're taking using MMPOS, which is a mining operating system that they recently added Intel Arc support. They actually added Intel Arc support last year. However, it wasn't very good. It's come a long way. And now that we have a lot of miners that are supporting Intel Arc, like Nano Miner, SRB Miner, LOL Miner, it's really allowing us to finally leverage a actual proper mining operating system. So I went ahead and I moved my cards over to MMPOS and I ran some tests. Now all of these tests are on SRB Miner 2.2.4. I am aware that 2.2.5 has recently released. However, uh, all of these numbers were kind of taken before that happened and before it was available in MMPOS. So keep that in mind. And one of the things I noticed is on some of the hash rates on the Intel side, it's actually better in 224 than in 225, which is interesting. In addition, I also captured some power readings. That was a big thing that came out of the last video. A lot of people wanted to know power. reason I didn't do it is pretty much all the cards in Windows were pulling max power. Whether you were dual mining, whether you are single mining, uh, pretty much whatever you were doing, it didn't matter. It was pulling the full power from the GPU. It's a little bit different in MMPOS. We're able to attain a little bit better efficiencies. So starting off with Alephium, and full disclaimer before we get through all this, no additional algos were tested. I believe there was one new algo that was added recently in SRB Miner for SHA 3D. However, that is only in 2.2.5. The differences between 2.2.3 and 2.2.4 was basically just hash rate differences. There wasn't any new minor changes. And keep in mind, these old ones, so column C and D, are all for Windows. So these were all running on Windows. And uh, E and F for, for MMPOS. One thing you're going to notice is the lack of support in MMPOS for some things that did work in Windows. So let's start off with Alephium. Um, we achieved 430 mega hash at 55 watts. It's about 5 more mega hash per second more than what we got in Windows. And 1.55 giga hash per second at 190 watts on the A750. And those were pretty close numbers of what we had achieved. Now, LOL Miner and Nano Miner really aren't supported within MMPOS from an Intel perspective. So, one of the things you're going to notice here is Beam, we were not able to run um, on either card. However, Bitcoin Gold, which is the Zhash algo, we were able to run. And we saw some drastic improvements. So, in Windows, we could run it on the A380, but in MMPOS, we could not. However, on the A750, in Windows, we were getting, on the previous version, we were only getting 18 hashes per second. We're now getting 63 hashes per second. And again, 190 watts, so it's leveraging the full power of the GPU, but that is a substantial improvement over what we were getting. Uh, Dynex was the real big difference here um, on both cards, and this really shows how Dynex excels on the A380. So in Windows, under the previous version, we were getting 250 hashes per second. We're now getting 1.17 kilohashes at only 40 watts. And then on the A750, we were getting 330 hashes per second. We're now getting 1.3 kilohashes per second at 108 watts. And taking a look at this, you can see that we're still almost achieving the same hash with the A380 that we get with the A750, but we're consuming, you know, a third of the power. Um, 
Argo, again, LOL minor, did not work in MMPOS. So we were unable to test that. However, SRB minor did work. And once again, um, there isn't a kernel for the A380. So we weren't able to do Ergo on the A380 at all. However, we were able to do it on the A750. And the numbers were pretty much the same. So we got, um, just on Ergo, we got around 127 mega hash at 174 watts. Uh, Ergo plus Elf was around 120 mega hash on Ergo and 839 mega hash on Elf, 190 watts of full power consumption. Um, Cas was, was somewhere 118 watt or 118 mega hash on Ergo and 117 mega hash on Caspa at 190 watts. We were not able to do Nova or Optical Bitcoin. Uh, because there was not support for those within MMPOS. Uh, Ergo plus Radiant, we were able to do 120 mega hash on Ergo, 238 mega hash per second on Radiant at 190 watts. Um, Ergo plus Zill, uh, this is where things got pretty good on the Zill side. So we were able to get 127 mega hash on Ergo. And we were able to get 52 mega hash on Zill. And the reason for this, as opposed to the 15, is MMPOS and the probably more likely the newer version of SRB Miner is now fuller, fully leveraging the GPU for hashing on ET hash, where before it was somewhat restricted. And that was 174 watts. ETC we could not get to work in MMPOS. Same thing with ETHW. I did find it interesting that we were able to hash on Zill, but essentially we didn't have support for any of these uh, within MMPOS. It was really odd. Um, I did let this thing run overnight to run through a few Zill windows, and we did and get we did indeed get shares submitted to the Zill pool. Um, Evermore, and this is basically pretty much all of the Kapow Prog Pal. Uh, we could not get to work within MMPOS. So Evermore didn't work. Firo did not work. Uh, Flux, the miner crashed. Uh, it did try to spin up, but then it ended up crashing after about, I would say, about a minute or two of running. It kept crashing and that happened on both cards. Ironfish did see substantial improvements in 2.2.4 and these numbers were taken prior to mainnet launch and so what that means is this is prior to the stratum change I believe or the stratum may have already been implemented just not fully implemented on all the pools I forget um what we were looking at is a bump up from 900 mega hash a second to 2.8 giga hash, and that's only at 55 watts. And on Ironfish, we went for, or on the A750, we went from 3.1 giga hash to 10.11 giga hash. Again, pulling full power from the A750. Uh, Caspa only, we got 78 mega hashes at 55 watts on the 380. And 283 mega hash at 190 watts on the A750. Uh, with SRB minor, it was a little bit better. We got that was with LOL minor. So with SRB minor, we were able to achieve 105 mega hash at 55 watts on the 380, and 373 mega hash on the A750. Uh, once again, Nova, Optical Bitcoin, Raven aren't working in MMPOS. Uh, Radiant only. We got 152 mega hash a second at 55 watts on the A380. 553 mega hash a second at 190 watts on the A750. Uh, Ubik, I could not get to work within MMPOS either. And again, this is a really interesting that basically... All of the ETH hash variants, I couldn't get them to mine within MMPOS directly, 
but the zill switching did work. And last but not least, vert, vert hash miner we could not get to work within MMPOS, mainly because the way MMPOS works is when you get a essentially apply your miner profile, which is the equivalent of a flight sheet, it does a check to see whether Intel is supported by that or not. And if it's not, it basically just won't run the miner. And so that was the case here. Vert hash miner technically wasn't built for Intel Arc. And so MMPOS doesn't, doesn't think it's compatible and it won't let you launch it even though that miner works perfectly fine in Windows using the OpenCL kernels. So that's kind of the outliers there. The big takeaways are um, obviously the big improvement on Blake 3 with Ironfish. And the other one is Dynex, um, especially on the A380, only using 40 watts to achieve 1.17 kilohashes per second. Now, as I mentioned, 2.2.4 is actually better than 2.2.5 in that with 2.2.5 this actually dropped down to around 900 hashes a second and that also reflects on the pool we dropped uh for our full rig we dropped around the giga or we dropped around one and a half kilo hashes per second effective rate at the pool going from 2.2.4 to 2.2.5 so those are the hash rates that were achieved within MMPOS. Uh, this also gives you an idea of if you're thinking about using MMPOS, uh, what those limitations are versus things that are actually working in Windows, especially if you have an A750, you're gonna be missing out on essentially all the ProgPal coins for the most part. Uh, so keep that in mind.